Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Now, what if I told you your car had to be better than your local weatherman? Well, it does. It actually has to measure the temperature, the actual density of the air, and how much is going through. And that's important. So, Garage Ed, we're going to talk about the mass airflow sensor. Well, here it is, located right here on the intake manifold, somewhere where it's going to measure the air going into the engine. Now, how does it work? Well, I have a couple types. I have one right here. Could be a hot wire. It could be a blade type. I actually have one cutaway right here so I can demonstrate for you. Now what's going on? Well, air's passing through this. Now think about it for a minute. My computer is actually sending a voltage and an amperage to this. And what happens is if I blow through it and I blow through it lightly, I may cool the wire down just a little bit. So it gives it a little bit of amperage. Then it correlates that through a frequency and it says here, here's the air coming through it. But what if I kind of spit and blow through it real hard? Well, that's dense cold air. So it has to put more amperage to heat it up. Once it heats it up, it knows that air, it knows the temperature of the air and it knows the density of the air. Why? Well, precise fuel mixture, that's what it is. I'm going to go ahead and fire up the board so we can see it in action. So once I fire this thing up, it's going to measure it as it's coming in. And if you look over at the screen right over here, on the left side it actually has frequency because the computer itself, well, it can't reach out and touch the air. It uses those electrical signals and it actually converts it over for that fuel mixture. Now the real cool part is the right side of the screen over there. You see that's grams per second. How much air is actually running through? In an idle, there's not much. So what do we do? Well, we crack the throttle. And when we open up the throttle, you can see the grams per second start to rush up. It's going through, it knows that engine's sucking in a ton of air, and it mixes the fuel appropriately. That's really cool. The key is, though, is keeping those things clean. And let me tell you a little story. Here in Florida, we got love bugs, and love bugs, they get trapped in there and they go through and they actually get on that hot wire. Well, if they get on that hot wire, that's a false resistance. So what does the computer do? He tries to jack up the voltage to it. Hey, he thinks that the car's really, really cold, starts running it rich, you get bad fuel mileage. So that's a good reason why we need to check in with Brian and clean that mass airflow sensor. Well, clean is absolutely critical. You're going to see why here in a second. This is pretty easy access. So I'm going to pull the connector. I've already got the clamp loose here. Take care of that connector. It's brittle. There's a lot of heat up here. Slide this back. And we're going to roll this right off right here and let you get a good look at those blades. John was talking about the blades. More important, see those little heating elements? Those are typically platinum or nickel, and you gotta take care of them. Don't touch them, you'll damage them. But we've gotta clean this stuff with the proper chemical. You can't use brake clean, gum out, carburetor cleaner. Don't do it. Use mass airflow sensor cleaner. I'm gonna clean this first, then we're gonna do a visual inspection of the whole rest of the system. So, to clean it, you wanna follow the path of air coming in first. Get your rag on the backside so you absorb everything. Hold an open space, wear goggles if you need to, I'll hold it away from me. Spray it pretty liberally, full blast. You want that pressure to clean those elements. All right, we're gonna let that sit for just a second while we inspect the rest of the system. So, keep in mind, man, this is the introduction to power for the computer. If the mass airflow sensor doesn't give you a go, the rest of the sensors aren't gonna let you go, the computer's not gonna give you the power equation that you want. So, harsh environment, Check the connector, it looks good. Now, a lot of vehicles have a long tube on that air duct, that air intake. That's a lot of opportunity for unmetered air, unmeasured air by this guy to get in. So check that whole duct work, inspect it for cracks, anything that's broken, I'm looking down in there, it looks really good. This one's short, so not a big deal. So I think we're good. We're gonna get this guy cleaned up, get this all buttoned back up, and we're ready to roll down the road. Well, for even more tech tips, John and Tom are standing by. Well, now we're experts with a mass airflow sensor, but Tom, some manufacturers call this mass, M-A-S-S, M-A-F. I mean, there's EGR, MAP sensors, TPS. There's all kinds of weird sensors out there. Names for our viewers, maybe they don't know what that means. Can you help us out there? Sure, yeah, we have a search box. So if you know what, you have some guesses on what it might be called, you just start typing in the search box here right next to the engine size. and. I typed in math and it, it pulls up uh, some choices. I click on it, it takes me right to the math sensor. Um, we have different variations of, of what something might be called and it'll, it'll take you, uh, suggest things and take you there real quick. Yeah, that's huge because there's so many of them. What if I don't know the part itself? I mean, 
could I look on it? Can you help us out? Uh, yeah, if you just say, hey, this is a, like this, this little black thing, I'm not sure what it is. Exactly. If, you, if you can find a part number on it, the OE part number, or, or even if it's been replaced, the uh, aftermarket part number, we, we have a part number search tab. Oh, wait a minute, let me put you to the test, all right? I don't know if your glasses are any better than mine, <laughs> but holy mackerel. How about star 280218? That's about all I can see, but that's my, the one I'm holding in my hand. Okay, and we'll search for it. It's pulling it up. It's going to be able to find exactly what this is. Yep, yeah, there it is. Holy mackerel, there it is. Perfect. So it brings up um, that part and then different manufacturers that make the same part. So. Well, perfect. Whether you got a part, you don't know what it is, the acronym, or you want the part number, just go on to rockauto.com. Well, it's time to wrap it up for today. I'm going to check in with Brian.